The GraftMax button and curved reaming system provides precise anatomic tunnels without the need for hyperflexing. This system delivers the benefits and ease of use of adjustable loop fixation with graft fixation that's equivalent to a fixed loop device. To begin, debride unwanted remnant ACL tissue and mark the center of the desired tunnel locations. Then, insert the GraftMax curved guide into the anteromedial portal with the knee flexed at 90 degrees. Insert the GraftMax indicator pin into the sleeve and down to bone to assess the projected guide pin exit and femoral aperture to cortex, or AC, length. Place the flex exact pin through the curved guide. Then, advance the pin through the femoral cortex. Remove the indicator and curved guide from the joint. Pull back on the Flex Exact pin, hooking the head on the cortex to confirm the AC length. Then, advance the Flex Exact pin out through the skin laterally. Next, insert the GraftMax Flex Sentinel Reamer over the Flex Exact pin, keeping the cutting flute away from the femoral condyle. Advance the Flex Sentinel to ream the femoral socket. Remove the Flex Sentinel from the joint. Then, advance the GraftMax Flex Channel Reamer through the lateral cortex. Remove the Flex Channel Reamer, leaving the Flex Exact Pin to be used to position a passing suture. Next, position the tip of the Bullseye Tibial Footprint Guide in the center of the tibial ACL footprint. Advance the tibial guide pin until it meets the point of the guide arm. Then, remove the guide from the joint. Ream the tibial tunnel. Then retrieve the passing suture through the tibial tunnel. Load the blue and striped suture tails of the GraftMax button into the passing suture. Pull up through the knee so that all four suture tails exit the skin. Advance the button through the bone tunnels by pulling on the blue lead suture while carefully removing any slack in the striped adjusting sutures along the way. Pull the BTB graft into the joint by pulling the stripe sutures, reducing the loop length until the tissue is in the desired position. Cycle the knee with tension on the graft. Then, set the knee at the desired flexion angle. Tap the tibial tunnel and BTB graft. Next, insert the Genesis Matrix Interference Screw and advance it into the tibial tunnel until flush. An arthroscopic knot pusher can be used to percutaneously tie a knot in the stripe sutures over the top of the button. Next, unthread the blue suture from the button. Trim the two strands of the striped adjustable loop tails flush to the skin with a sharp blade. Follow normal procedures to close the incisions.